you played it for Paul Silas, one of our yes. our favorites Absolutely. back in, the, in Boston here. A lot of talent on that team. You're, you're Terry Cummings and, and uh, Tom Chambers, Rand, my old friend Randy Smith, yes. Bill Walton. Bill Walton, Swain didn't have, Nader. But, yeah, but didn't, not, didn't have a lot of success winning games. What was, what was the story with that team? The biggest, you know, Bill is a cool cat. Bill yes. is my boy. Bill Walton's my boy. But Bill at that time was being Bill. So he would, my rookie year, Bill played on weekends. He went to law school during the week. <laughs> so that's just telling you something. So Bill went to Stanford Law School from Monday through Thursday, and then he would come to San Diego and play with us. And he only played at home games, so he never went on the road. So it was very disruptive sure. to the team. So a lot of guys didn't really like it. So it kind of played in the way that we, we performed. So we were 18 and I guess whatever a that lot. season yes the following season we won 32 games but we had a great core of players man. yeah when you look at terry cummins like you said terry cummins and tom chambers and bill walton so you have some hall of fame cats on that team so we just weren't able to to get together and and, and jail the way that we needed to at that point in no, time if there's ever a better athlete than randy smith i don't know oh, who it was. no incredible yeah and so you went out to milwaukee and you really established yourself it seemed to me with the bucks as a really right. really solid player and again playing for hall of fame don, don nelson. nelson and i think the biggest thing in milwaukee was our defensive stance we had a we had a defensive mindset that i felt other than our championship teams with chicago those were teams i felt that we should have won with mm -hmm. but we couldn't be boston and larry bird and Parrish and them cats but other than that, I think, you know, the thing in Milwaukee was we, it was, it was a great city to bring up a family. And sure. I was a, I was a family man at that time, had my two young sons. So it was great because it wasn't too fast, but it wasn't, but it wasn't too slow. It was only 90 minutes from my hometown in Chicago. Sure. So I could get on the highway and get back home now and then. But it was a great experience for me to get my feet wet in playoff basketball. For the first two years, I didn't get to playoffs. Now for the next four to five seasons, for the rest of my career, I'll get to be a playoff player. And that's where your career is defined, I think, in the playoff. And like moments at All-Star Weekend are also defining moments. But I think it's all about winning, man. So when people ask me who's the best player ever, Bill Russell. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, and you played, we talk about defense on that team, mm -hmm. Paul Pressey and, and no Sidney question. Moncrief. No I question. Mean, and Sidney Moncrief, until I got to play with MJ, Sidney was the hardest worker I had, had, had ever played with. But when I play with MJ, that's, that cat is incredible, man. Well, let's talk about MJ incredible. and that team. Yes. I mean, it's obviously you know, one of the historic greatest teams in the history of, of basketball. Yeah. Did you know right away? You would played against MJ. You right. knew who he was. When, when we, played, we played against MJ in Milwaukee, and this probably maybe his second or third year in the league. But we came to half court right before the game, and I told him, I said, man, if we ever play together, we're going to win championships together. And a year later, I got traded back to Chicago, hmm. and we were able to win. Hello, everyone. I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos. So please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.